Hey everyone, my name is Cody and I'm here with the Big Idea Experience. This month we have a brand new big idea for you guys. This month is all about honesty, which is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Now you might be wondering what I'm standing next to. This is our awesome tower of trust. You see over time when you tell the truth and do what you're supposed to do, you build trust. And that's what we have here, a huge tower of trust. Now, it looks impressive. It might even make you think if it's so big and awesome, what's the harm in one little lie? Well, let's take a look. I have this Erlenmeyer flask here and it's filled with acetone. Now, acetone is a chemical that is kind of dangerous and you really want to use it only with adult supervision. And if you do use it, you want to make sure that you have chemical resistant gloves and safety glasses and, and make sure it's in a well ventilated area. Now, this acetone acts as a solvent to the polymer polystyrene or styrofoam. Basically, it dissolves it and allows all these little pockets of air in the styrofoam to escape. So for today's experiment, the acetone is gonna represent the lies we tell. So let's say you just tell a little lie here, a little lie there. Maybe you tell your mom that you didn't eat the chocolate chip cookie before dinner. Or maybe uh, you didn't do something that your teacher asked you to do. You know what, it might even be a big lie. Maybe you decided to hide something from your parents and didn't admit to it when they asked you. Or maybe you even took something that wasn't yours and pretended like you bought it. So it looks like no big deal, right? I mean, our tower of trust is still here and intact. I mean, sure, there's a few holes, but the acetone or the lie, it isn't there anymore, right? Well, that's not true. You see, when we tell a lie, whether we are caught or not, it sticks around. You might look fine up here, but let's take a look at our foundation. Whoa, look at all those lies. I mean, they don't look like they're affecting the tower, but they're sitting here at your foundation of trust. So let's pretend that you say, I'm never gonna tell another lie. I mean, you just told those few, right? You're not gonna lie again, so it can't do much to your tower of trust. Besides, no one even knows about it. Only you know the lies that you told and nothing is gonna happen. But what do you see happening to the tower while I'm standing here? It's getting lower. And that's because the lies are eating away at your foundation of trust. And eventually, you won't have any more trust. So here's the truth about lying and honesty. You can tell a small lie, maybe one that you don't think is a big deal, but that one lie can ruin trust that you built over the years. If you tell one lie, it makes it hard for someone to trust that you will tell the truth. So, as we can see, honesty really is the best policy. When we aren't truthful in what we say and do, it always makes a mess. It's better to always choose to tell the truth. But what if you've already told a lie? Maybe it was little, maybe it was big. Maybe there's something that you're doing right now, lying to your friends or your family or your teacher. What do you do? Well, Rick Rorden, the author of the Percy Jackson series said this, it takes strength and courage to admit the truth, especially if you've already told a lie. There's a solution though, if your tower of trust is damaged and it starts by coming clean about everything. As nice as it may sound to just start over, you have to go back and be honest, not just on the things that you've said, but maybe you've done some things that have been misleading. To start building trust again, you have to remove the lies from your life, all of them. Now, this isn't a very big tower, is it? But it is a start. You see, trust doesn't just happen overnight. And when you tell a lie, you could do serious damage to your tower of trust. You might have to start all over, but that doesn't mean that you can't build trust again. It's just gonna take time and it's gonna take you choosing to be truthful. It's gonna take you choosing to be honest when it's easy. It's gonna take you choosing to tell the truth even when it's hard. It's gonna take you choosing to be truthful when others might not like you for being honest. And it's gonna take you telling the truth even when you might get in trouble for something you did. It's gonna take you being honest in the little things and in the big things. It's gonna take you being honest in whatever you say and do. And look, we've built our tower of trust again. Now, like I said, that's gonna take time because building trust isn't something that just happens really quickly. Choosing to be honest is just that, 
a choice. You can either choose to be truthful or choose to tell a lie. But when you lie, your foundation of trust is ruined. And building that trust again is gonna take a lot of time. In the end, honesty is the best policy. So when you choose to be truthful in whatever you say and do, you build trust, which is making the smart decision, treating others right, and maximizing your potential. Thanks for tuning in to watch this awesome video all about the big idea. Click here if you want to see even more videos about big ideas, or you can subscribe to our channel so you know when the latest video has been posted. You can also check us out on Facebook or thebigideaexperience.com. I did it! That was it, right?